Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up, powered by Racing Free. Hello and welcome to the Weekend Wrap-Up. I'm Jim Byers. Back home after filling in as track announcer for Don Stevens at Delta Downs over the weekend. Those races included Saturday's Lee Berwick Futurity Trials, the richest quarter horse race in Delta Downs history. The final for that coming up on July 12th. In upcoming shows here, we will preview the Lee Berwick Futurity. On tonight's program, we'll recap three graded quarter horse races from the past week, plus look ahead to major events upcoming during the final weekend of June. Los Alamitos ushered in summer with the Grade 1 Ed Burke Million Futurity on Sunday night. This year's total purse wound up tallying $945,000. At 3-5 to five on the morning line and 2-5 to five at post time, he's a dash of fire. He topped the qualifiers convincingly and was clearly the one to beat here. And away they go on the Ed Burke Million Futurity and he's a dash of fire, Love Supreme, came away well to the extreme outside, comes one A Political Flight, A Political Bloods also trying to close in, but as he's a dash of fire, full of run for Chris Mendez, and he's a dash of fire, is a true superstar, he absolutely annihilates him, almost two lengths in front. He's three for three and has never been challenged, he's a dash of fire, routes the field in this grade one event under Cruz Mendez. Speed indexes in his three starts of 97, 95, and in this race, 102. He's a dash of fire, stamps himself as the two-year-old to follow heading into the summer. He's trained by Jose Flores for S Quarter K LLC, which bred this gelding in the state of Washington. He's by walk through fire out of the Mr. Jess Perry mare, Dash of Frida. He's a dash of fire, goes the 350 yards in 17.223 seconds the second fastest at Burke Million in history. Sunray Park in New Mexico offered a pair of graded events on Saturday. The biggest was the grade three Four Corners Futurity. 350 yards the distance for a $105,000 purse. The fastest qualifier from the June 6th trials was the Philly Jazzes and Spots. She was let go at five to one odds, while the second fastest from the trials clear win was the nine to five choice. There they go in the four corners futurity. It was a slow start for clear win. Getting away like a rocket. Zoom in. Jesse goes to the front. Bearing in quite severely. There was Mount Spitshine. And in third, closing LD Red Hot Blue in fourth smoke on the water. Mount Spitshine's going. Mount Spitshine takes the four corners futurity by daylight. Mount Spitshine was clear at the end, but for swerving in sharply partway through, he was disqualified from first and placed eighth. So the official winner is number one, Smoke on the Water, a Kentucky bred gelding by Spit Curl Jess out of the thoroughbred mare Smokin, who's a daughter of champion sprinter Smoke Glacken. Now three for four lifetime, Smoke on the Water is trained by Monica Ortega for owner Norma Reyes. The winner was bred by Robert Gentry. Rick Oliver, the winning jockey. Zoom and Jesse has moved up to second with LD Red Hot Blue third. The disqualified horse went the distance in 17.377 seconds. Smoke on the water's time was 17.518. New Mexico breads went 400 yards on Saturday in the restricted grade two Tommy Duke Smith stakes. The purse was $45,000 for these three-year-old fillings. Number three, Penny Snatchin was the six to five post-time favorite. Off and running in the Tommy Duke Smith stakes. A rather about beginning for Penny Snatcher, but did get away near the lead. There goes Best Can with a great turn of foot. Best Can leading ahead. Miss Tessmacher applying pressure, still fighting back. Penny Snatchin's not done. A.J. Hardwood staying with her. Penny Snatchin after the rough beginning. Spears clear. Penny Snatchin the winner. She overcomes adversity and reports home on top by a half length under Jorge Bordieu. Penny Snatchin, a daughter of Gone to the Mountain and the Dean Miracle Mayor, High Maintenance Gal. Penny Snatchin is a homebred racing for Jill Giles, West Giles trains, as Penny Snatchin becomes a graded winner. A.J. Hardwood a game second, with Corona Southern Dream finishing third. Final time for the winner here, 19.555 seconds. Hats off to Racing Free member horse, You've Been Duke, winner of the recent Tota Stakes at Sunray Park. Saturday, July 5th, Indiana Grand Race Course will host Racing Free Day. Stop by the Racing Free booth to learn how Racing Free and you can help secure a better future for racing. 
Looking forward now to the bigger stakes races coming up this weekend. Highlighting Rui Doso's card on Saturday will be the Grade 3 High Easter Jet Handicap. The morning line favorite in the High Easter Jet is Jody Pop Zoomer, best known for his win in last year's Grade 1 Texas Classic Derby. The gelding has since finished 5th and 3rd in graded stakes races at Remington Park this spring. Trained by Toby Keaton, Jody Pop Zoomer will have G.R. Carter in the saddle for the High Easter Jet. The co-feature on Saturday is the Atiquan Ruidoso Derby Challenge, a 400-yard test for three-year-olds who qualified from trials on June 13th. Installed as the favorite is Big Biz Perry, whose qualifying time ranked fourth among the ten finalists. Conditioned by Blaine Wood, Big Biz Perry won last year's Million Dollar Heritage Place Futurity and then ran eighth in the Grade 1 Texas Classic Futurity. He'll have Ricky Ramirez in the irons on Saturday afternoon. Moving over to Vinton, Louisiana's Delta Downs and the Miss Polly Classic on Saturday. It's a grade three race at 400 yards for older horses. Five of the contenders last raced in the 350 yard grade three develop a plan stakes on May 31st. Most notable among those is the winner FDD Going Grand and the runner up Jet Black Gold Moment. Both horses are trained by Kenneth Roberts Sr. Also on Saturday, two-year-olds will be featured in the restricted grade two, TQHA Sires Cup Futurity at Rotama Park. On the same card is the restricted grade three Sires Cup Derby for three-year-olds, as well as the Sires Cup Stakes for older horses. We still have several non-graded stakes to recap from last week, so stay tuned for those. I'll wrap things up for now though. We're glad you've joined us for this edition of the show and hope you come back again next week. For everyone involved, I'm Jim Byers. See you next time on RaceView Network's Weekend Wrap-Up. RaceView Network's Weekend Wrap-Up, powered by Racing Free.